Sunday morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, October 4th, 10, 14 a.m. Don't get excited. I'm, lo I'm looking at the iPad. Getting ready to watch my Regency life. She's cleaning and reorganizing her craft room. So I like to watch videos like that. I started my Christmas list last night and on it I put a um, table uh, that I found that's the right size, I think, and height for a new sewing table, uh, art room table upstairs. I'd like one that's just slightly bigger and a new cutting mat. So I doubt I'll get it, but you know, one can only hope. Anyway, my face is looking a bit better. I'm going to keep putting vitamin E oil on it um, every day while it heals. So, but I didn't get black and blue. Uh, by now, if I was going to get black and blue, I would. And the swelling, there's no little to no swelling. So a little bit right here, I think. I'm just lucky I didn't knock a tooth out, to be honest. Um, we both woke up late. I woke up later than Bob. We both ended up unintentionally sleeping in. I woke up like an hour ago. Um, and he woke up slightly before me and he's already had his coffee and breakfast and off to the gym. Being safe, of course, and wearing a mask and all the things. At the so class. I got another zombie doll done. Pestil Pestilence is finished. So we're going to go walking now. First time I've been really seen out in public without a mask with the scrapes hey on guys. my face. Guys, it's about 2.30 p.m. on Monday, um, October. Fifth, I think. I think. Uh, spent the morning um, working on some business changes, actually. Um, logos and branding are changing, and you will notice that on some things already. Um, some social media things are going away or have already, or will be in the future. I've discontinued any further subscription to certain services. Um, I will still be on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. FYI, um, Etsy store staying open. But anyway, we are streamlining and making things look better. And my daughter, who's in graphic design and marketing, she's helping. So we spent the morning doing that and just changing the YouTube banners like so fiddly. It took like 40 minutes just to do that and get it formatted right. Like it's a, just such a big deal. Um, anyway, I'm also working on the vlog and I've been watching um, Mike Deacon's um, October um, Seven Days of Halloween videos. Um, I'll link his channel below. Um, while I was doing all that, I was had him playing in the background. And yeah, I sound like crappy again. I know. Anyway, I'm going to go check the mail and um, see if that's in. There's a couple of questionable pieces of mail coming. I don't understand. So I'm going to go check them. I'll be back. Hey guys, so it's like 2.30ish on Tuesday afternoon. I think it's after 2.30 to be fair. Um, my face is recovering from the fall. You can't tell in the picture, this is no longer scabby, so that's good. This is a little bit, so this, I don't know what that is, it just showed up, so. You know, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go check the mail. We spent the morning, I spent the morning doing the live broadcast. We made a Dama doll. I'll insert a picture here. And um, um, talked about some upcoming videos and some thoughts and ideas. I'll include a link to the live broadcast down below because that was really interesting conversation. Um, 
albeit semi one-sided because you can only hear my voice and me reading the comments from the people. Anyway. Um... Start on Monday. <laughs> hey guys, we are out for our evening walk. Yes, I'm aware I sound like crap again, but you know, hello asthma. And evidently from some of the news reports I've seen online, since we've had all these wildfire fires on the West Coast, a lot of us with lung issues, even if we didn't go outside, are having problems. And I'm not the only one. So anyway, we're going to get some steps in and then go home and have leftovers. And I really need to catch my uh, health app up, food tracking app, because I think I'm a couple days behind again. Hello. Yeah. I'm blaming it on co Corona Brain, but you know. Anyway, I think that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is, I almost said Friday. <laughs> Holy cow. It's Wednesday morning, um, October 7th, I think. Um, it's 9.59 a.m. according to the car clock. Is that right? I have no idea. I do think it's a couple minutes off, so I don't know. Um, I am obviously in the car, headed out. I've got it. I've got some Etsy orders that have to go out, and they're too big for the bo drop box here by the house. So I've got to go to the PO box. I'm going to check it while I'm there. Besides, drop off the orders, and while I'm out. I'm gonna pop into Michael's really quickly and get um, some floss. I'm out of another color again. Um, so I'm gonna pick up a couple of skeins of 3348, DMC 3348 light yellow green, I think is what the name of it is, but it's 3348, that I know for sure. Um, Okay, I got the last of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse done. So here's a picture. There is a video coming. I did um, make this last one on camera and hopefully I got enough footage to make sense of a video. So we'll see. Um, watch my YouTube channel. I don't know when I'm gonna get it edited or aired, but I hopefully we'll get it edited tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, I have a typo in the Four Horsemen labels that I gave the patrons over on Patreon, which I need to edit, but I already turned the computer off and forgot to do it, so I don't know if I can do it on the iPad or not, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. First, I'm going to go take this other Etsy order over to the mailbox and check the mail. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's the apocalypse. It's another weird day. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I have to figure out dinner and do the dishes now. So first I'm going to see if I can edit that document. Then we'll take it from there. All right, I'll be back. morning everybody it is what time is it 10 54 a.m thursday october 8th so i've spent the morning rehanging all the paintings and artwork around the downstairs of the house we're going to be doing the whole house um or at least most of the house when we moved in we put everything up with command strips in the old house in california that worked great we never had an issue with them here in oregon we seem to periodically have an issue with a painting falling off the wall. I'm not sure if it's because of the humidity um, is so much higher here in Oregon that the command strips just don't want to stick. I'm kind of guessing that might be what it is. But um, anyway, this morning my husband went up the stairs to go to work to his office and one of the stairwell paintings had fallen off and was laying on the stairs. So um, rather than taking the chance of number one, somebody getting hurt, number two, a piece of artwork getting ruined because it falls off the wall and gets a hole in it or something, we're going to be spending the next couple of days rehanging things, um, with putting hangers on the back and actual nails in the wall and all the things. 
So, um, and I, you know, I'm pretty sure I know for the most part that those paintings are gonna stay there permanently. So I don't have a problem with actually putting a nail on the wall. Um, in some places like the art room, I do occasionally move things around. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that in here. I might leave some of these up. These are with command strips in here. Um, I might leave them that way, but we'll see. But I want to do the stairwell. St I, I had, did the whole um, kitchen entryway living room area. We have to do the game room, the master bedroom, the stairwell, and then whatever upstairs that we're going to do, um, which over the next couple of days, we're going to take care of that. Um, okay, so I got today's art apocalypse drawing done. The word today was skull. So that's what I did. I did a skull. There you go. Still playing with those pencils that I found and trying to see if I like them enough to keep them or not. Um, I went through them, did a sort of initial sort, and um, purged some duplicates, basically. And um, I have this sneaking suspicion that most of what I kept and I, I put over here, I will probably keep, more than likely. But we'll see. Mm. Not going to jump ahead of the game too much. Um, kind of getting ready for the next round of slow stitching, cleaning off the table a bit. It's decently clean. I have a couple of mission inspiration um, challenges to work on. So they're all cut out and ready to go. Um, I think my next slow stitch might be a Frida Kahlo slow stitch. So I've got a couple of inspiration images that I've pulled off of Pinterest. Um, and this one, of course, is off the front of my coffee cup that I have downstairs. So um, I'm going to use them for inspiration to create a slow stitch, a Frida slow stitch. I might print a couple of photographs of her, too. Uh, we'll see. Um, but I think I'm decently ready to go for that. I just need to start picking a couple of fabrics. Um, I also think I have a decent amount of like doll making patterns now, uh, zombie doll making patterns the charity bear pattern which i started now before the pandemic and now i don't even know if i can donate the charity bears because of germs and the pandemic and yeah i'm gonna keep making them but yeah that's gonna be a thing anyway i also have some pin cushion patterns over there but i think they need their all sort of mini binder i do have some pockets for the pieces but i ordered a little mini binder um to store everything in today Hey guys, I would say good morning, but it's after lunch already. <laughs> it is, what time is it? Um, 1.09 p.m. Friday, October 9th. Um, I've been, spent the morning video editing, which is something I've been putting off for a couple of days because although I filmed a zombie, I filmed a video for the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse zombie dolls, a sort of a part two of making zombie dolls. Part one went live today, as did Mike Deacon's video using my pattern. Um, and I love the way his dolls turned out, and I love the dolls he came up with once he figured out how to make them. He came up with his own patterns. I love what he came up with. If you haven't seen his video, I'll link it below. Go watch it. It was great. Anyway, um, he was so cute. <laughs> he said... Uh, he made a comment about me doing this magic thing with my fingers to tie a knot and he didn't want to say anything to me because he didn't want to offend. Mike, you're so funny. <laughs> I learned how to do that from my grandmother. Bless her. She's not with us anymore. But I am surprised by the people that don't know how to do it. I am going to use some sort of a big... This is just some jute twine that I had. It's been laying on my desk. Um, it's really not... I didn't think it was a big deal, but evidently, well, I've watched a few sewing videos. There's a lot of people that don't know how to do this. I, I don't know. So literally, you just take, I'm right-handed, so I have control of the th string or thread with my right hand. Um, I have the th string or thread between my thumb and my finger. Here. Wrap it around until you have this. Like that. Right? So you still have it between your two fingers and then roll. As you roll, it pulls that little short cut end through the loop that you just made around your finger. And then just put your other finger here and pull. I didn't really think it was magic, but 
I'll do it again. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to cut the knot we just made off so I can do it again. All right. So wrap it around. Bring it in between. As you roll, I'm trying to do this in front of the camera. I don't usually do it this slow. As you roll, your finger pulls that little cut end into the loop. And then just do that and it creates a knot. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Here. It'd probably be easier if I do it this way. So then the, it just see, uh, can you see that when you roll it? Oops, I lost it. So when you roll it, do you see what happens to the little cut end? It pulls it through. That's all it is, and then just pull. That's how I always do my knots. <laughs> Been doing them that way for a long time. <laughs> Since I first learned how to sew from my grandmother. So see? So, I don't know, practice. There's lots of ways to do a knot, of course, but yeah, just practice, it's easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's easy. Anyway, Mike, you're so cute. <laughs> it's not magic, I swear. <laughs> I don't have lots of manual de dexterity, but I guess I have enough to make knots that way, which I didn't think required dexterity, but I'm guessing it does. Anyway. I would say good morning, but it's after lunch. <laughs> it's just after 12 o'clock on Saturday, October 10th, I think. Um, as I was saying a few days ago, I've discovered since living in Oregon that command strips to hang things up on the wall are not always the best idea because they don't stick. It's too humid. Um, so we just got the last of the big paintings attached to the wall with old fashioned nails and brackets there you go so they're all done today um <clears throat> so we got that done this morning and i just finished lunch i got today's um art apocalypse 2020 drawing which the word for today was drink oops drink so there you go my favorite flavored water and um the paper is curly because they are pencil drawings and i don't I think I said already in the vlog, but I'm not sure, but I put some deli paper in between all the pages to keep the drawings from sh smearing, smearing, because my husband's from New York, we say smearing, um, <laughs> on to the other opposite page. But I also have taken the first couple pages I took outside and I used Krylon Matte Finish Spray, which is a great archival quality spray, but for this, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, and I can't spray Krylon in the house, plus it's not so great for my asthma. So we switched to the old fashioned DIY Aquanet hairspray, <laughs> um, which I can do in the house and doesn't bother me. So um, I got all the paper sprayed, which is why it's like curly right now. So that's just sitting and chilling and the kids are gonna come over later. We're doing Oktoberfest today. So we're cooking up a bunch of different German foods and we are, um, Gonna turn on some German music, I guess, later. Yeah, so it ought to be a thing. We've got sausages and sauerbraten and, and schwetzel, and I think my daughter's bringing apple strudel and beer and some German wine. And yeah, we can't do Oktoberfest in person, which we do like to do at Mount Angel. Um, even if they were having the event, I wouldn't be okay going, but um, they're not really having the event. They're having virtual Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's not going to be the same. So we'll wait until COVID's over. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute. I know I have other things I should be doing today. I can't think of what they are right now, but you know, hello, Corona brain. Anyway, that's it. I'll be back.
Okay, we got some garlic bread proofing and I have everything out to get the sauerbraten started, um, which is the, basically the German version of pot roast, only marinated in vinegar and things rather than, I don't know, when I make pot roast, I marinate. I don't really marinate it for three days, but I cook it in like beef stock and stuff like that. And with sauerbraten, you actually marinate it in vinegar and red wine and onions and stuff for three days before you cook it. So anyway, that's kind of a basic difference. Um, I've got the red cabbage out. I've got the schwetzel out. Like, I think I'm ready to go. Rebecca's bringing the sauerkraut. Oh, the sausages are out. She's bringing the pretzels and the strudel. We've got the beer. I think we're good. So yeah, it's all good, I think. As long as the bread proofs, because, you know, that's always a crapshoot. All right, I'll be back. So yeah, it was a, as I was saying before, we had a really nice dinner of sauerbraten, spetzel, red cabbage, sauerkraut. The guys had some spaten. Rebecca had some German wine. We ate gingerbread cookies. We were supposed to save them for dessert. We ate the whole bag. So we're out gonna out get some steps in. I'm gonna stay well in the back because yeah, I don't want to fall again. So that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. See if I can do this so y'all don't have like the worst lighting imaginable. <laughs> Trying to hide the ceiling fan light behind my head. Anyway, good evening everybody. It is, it's not too awfully late. Let's see. Um, 9.30 p.m. on Saturday the 10th. Um, it's been another weird week. It's just... I, I, I don't know. It's, it's been a strange week. But on to the next, right? What are we going to do? <laughs> Y'all have been great with the Etsy orders. I did have to make a correction to one order. My mistake, not theirs. I took care of it today and sent a few little extra goodies, um, and I'm sorry. So I took care of that. I got some vinyl sticker paper in today. So I'm gonna try seeing how that prints on my inkjet printer versus regular sticker paper to do some more sticker flakes with. I've got a bunch more of the new style um, botanically inspired doodles um, to transfer into digital images to then make flakes out of and other stuff. Um, so I need to work on that. So there's always stuff to do. I am going to start working on the Frida Kahlo slow stitch, um, maybe tomorrow. Um, I might film some of it or, or all of it, um, but I might film it for Patreon. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do regarding that yet. I might do it all off camera. I, I, I don't know. Um, I guess I better find out tomorrow though, right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's crazy. Um, I came upstairs because I've got to close my computer. It hasn't been on all day. And it needs it needs to go off. I don't like to leave my computer on all the time. I like to turn it off. I guess since I'm here, though, I should check YouTube comments while I'm upstairs, yeah? Anyway, it's been a good week, but it's been a weird week. We had the Oktoberfest dinner celebration here at the house tonight. That was a lot of fun. Of course, it's not the same as going to an Oktoberfest festival, which is a lot of fun. And I can't wait until it's safe enough to go to another one. But in the meantime, we had a fun time making sauerbraten and spetzel, and we had some strudel from a really great local bakery. My daughter picked it up on her way over. Some red cabbage, sauerkraut, really great German sausages, like the whole nine yards. It was really good. 
And we went for a nice family walk. I stayed well in the back away from Lily so she wouldn't knock me over again because this is just starting to heal. So yeah, anyway, I hope you've all had a good one, even if it's been a weird one like me. It seems like every day this week it's been Monday, but you know, seven days of Monday. I think I'm done with that now. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've all had a great week. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. If you're in a face, one of my Facebook art groups, you can um, put something in a post over there and tag me in the post so that I see it. Um, any relevant links will always be in the video description, along with a link tree list of links that include ways to support the free content here on YouTube at, or over in the Facebook art groups. That includes shopping my Etsy, Etsy shop or um, Patreon. Um, there's a um, PayPal tip jar. There's a bunch of stuff, so check it out. And the Etsy shop has a sale up until the 15th of the month. All the stencils and stamps in the say in the shop, 40% off. That's below cost on some of that stuff, just FYI. So if there's anything in my Etsy shop regarding stamps and stencils that you've always wanted, now's the time, because I don't think I'm gonna do this sale again. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute, yeah? All right, I hope you all are doing well and that you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying creative doing what you need to, to do all of those things. And join me in the next video. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.